uh, let's see, 30 pounds at 90 degrees, that would be 6 centimeters. So I'll go straight up 6 centimeters. I'll start, I'll start right here and I'll go straight up 6 centimeters. Now, I'm going to put an arrow right where I finished. I'm going to label it. I'm going to say FD for Darth Vader's force. The next one is at 280 degrees. 20 pounds at 280 degrees. Han Solo. No, let's see. Maybe I should put Darth Vader on the other side so that we can see it. So I need to start off upside down. Remember, this is zero degrees. Up above, up above is 90 degrees. 180, 270. Let's see, Han Solo is at 280. So 270, 280 degrees would be right here. 0, 90, 180, 270. You always measure from the same point. And I'm going to come down, let's see, 20 pounds. 20 pounds would be 4 centimeters on my scale. So, I'm, so it's head to tail method. So I start right where I finished. 20 pounds, so I'm going to come down 4 centimeters. 1, 2, 3, 4. And I'll put an arrow in the direction that it's heading. So that's Han Solo. Now finally, I want to add Lando Calrissian. He's putting out 40 pounds at 200 degrees. So once again, I start where I finish there. There's Han Solo. The protractor is upside down because I'm above 180 degrees. There's 90. Up above here is, no, excuse me, there's zero. There's 90. Here's 270, no, 180, excuse me, 0, 90, 270, 180. Now, Lando's at 200. To, let's see, so 180, 190, 200. So this is where I ended with Han Solo. I head straight for Lando Calrissian, and it's 40 pounds, so we're going to go 8 centimeters. All right, so let's look at this. I went up 90 degrees. From 90 degrees, I went down 280 degrees, and the length of my force vector corresponds to the amount of force, the magnitude of the force. When I started at the end of, the, of Darth Vader's, this was zero degrees. When I started at the end of Han Solo to do Lando Calrissian, this was zero degrees. There's my angle. There's my angle. Now, this is where I started with Darth Vader. This is where I ended. So what I'm going to do is draw a resultant vector, the resultant of all those forces from beginning to end. And I'm going to put a, an arrow right there. And this is, let's see, I better write FL for F Lando. Right there is the resultant force. And I can, I can measure it. Now the resultant force, the angle is 185 degrees. So right, I've got zero degrees right there. That whole angle is 180, 185. So the resultant force it's got an angle of 185 degrees. It's got a length of 
four centimeters. So that's 6.4 centimeters, that's 32 pounds. I just divided 6.4 by 2 and multiplied by 10 at 185 degrees. So that's my resultant force. Now, it's as if instead of having these three different people pushing in three different directions, Darth Vader pushing one direction, Han Solo pushing this direction, Lando Calrissian pushing in this direction, it's as if one person was pushing in this direction. So that's the resultant force, F and a subscript R. Now to cancel that out, how, how do you cancel out that? Well, if I'm pushing you 32 pounds in this direction, you want to cancel out that force, you have to push back the same amount of force in exactly the opposite direction. And the exact opposite direction is just going to be 180 degrees different. So this is called the equilibrant force. So if the resultant force is 32 pounds, then the equilibrant force, E-Q-U-I-L-I-B-R-A-N-T force, is given by F and then the subscript E-Q. That's going to be 32 pounds, the same actual magnitude 180 degrees different. So it'll be at, let's see, 185 minus 180 would be 5 degrees. And that's how you do the head-to-tail method of vector addition. You can use different uh, directions. Now, I used, I used angles, and you'll wind up using angles at some point. But the initial values could be, uh, don't have to be angles. They could be up and down and left and right, or north, west, south, east. But your final answer will we'll probably have to use an angle. And just remember, always, you're going to be to the right is 0 degrees. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270, ooh, I didn't remember that, and 360 degrees, which is going to be 0 degrees again. So that's how to add vectors head to tail. You can add as many as you want. Try to think of it in terms of uh, if you're trying to go somewhere, on, you're looking at a map. Well, you're going to, well, let's see. Let's pretend we're going to go somewhere on a map. It's the same kind of thing. You look at the map and you've got a scale. You want to go from point A to point B on the map. And you find the scale down here. It tells you how far one inch is, you know, four miles or something. And then you follow the road. And you make it with little arrows, show the direction you're going in. And what you're doing is you're adding up all these little arrows following the road along until you finally get where you are. You add them all up, that tells you how far you went. But if you want to know how far it is as the crow flies, then you start at the beginning, you draw a straight line all the way to the end, and that's the resultant. You've actually just displaced yourself, excuse me, the resultant distance. You've actually just displaced yourself this distance, right? Same way to do it. You add up all these forces, you find out what the resultant force is. Uh, to cancel that out, it takes the equilibrant force. The other thing to point out is force is mass times acceleration. So if I don't have any acceleration, I can't have any force. Now think about that when you're, uh, when you're on the road. You're driving along at 40 miles an hour. You're pushing down on the accelerator, so you know you're applying a force but you're not changing speed. You're staying at 40 miles an hour. That means you're not accelerating. What's happening is there are more forces at work than just your car. Friction and drag are fighting back. You want to go this way, they're pushing this way, and the net force is zero. You're moving at a constant velocity, which means there's no net force acting on you. And that doesn't mean there aren't forces on you. It just means when you add them up, they sum up to zero.